All right, welcome back, everyone. How's everyone doing? Uh, we are a little bit late on this, um, but it's fine because it's not a big deal. And there's a couple weeks break before the next couple games, anyways. So, um, yeah, this is week four's kind of review. Uh, they happened on February 10th and 11th, and uh, we're just gonna kind of go kind of a little bit of a quick rundown uh, with Drew. What's up, Drew? Not much. What's happening? Not much. Uh, you remember any of these games? You want to give us a rundown? Start with yeah, like, I remember. Uh... I remember some of them for sure. <laughs> um, we're in like a weird break. We were just saying before recording. Yeah, we're in that like weird two week, uh, two week break in the not even the middle of the season, just like just <laughs> randomly. So yeah, yeah, uh, good times. But yeah, um, so <laughs> this, if you don't remember, this is right after Super Week. Yes. Um, yeah. and. This was uh, definitely a big week for Cloud9 because they lost three in a row. Yeah. Actually, four in a four. row. I think it was had, yep. four or five, yeah. I think it was four because they lost every Super Week game. And then yeah, they had lost. Right. Yeah. Four in a row. So it's crazy. It's pretty pretty crazy. So And they definitely started. So the first game on Saturday was C9 versus NRG. So definitely like a... Definitely a tough one. Um, if, you know, you're trying to break a losing streak. Yeah. But uh this one cloud nine did end up winning yeah we, um, we bounced back let's go bounce back so that was good they they ran like a pretty super standard no like draft shenanigans um i think it was like everything was i think if i remember right this is where vulcan played okay. bard was like quote unquote the uh, weirdest I part so, of the draft yeah. or was it so, and even that's not like super weird yeah like so if you look at c9's draft it's like pretty common like pretty pretty standard champs in every role yeah yeah um, finally we're not playing uh lucian and finally we're playing <laughs> yeah. varus which in my opinion i think is probably the best it's definitely yeah. very definitely the best into lucian specifically but yeah yeah and then uh energy uh they didn't really cook too much either you see they did get the center tk body, yeah um, which i did want to mention real fast um the Senna tk was uh fbi ignar actually last last year and they they did had really good synergy on it but it didn't yeah. seem quite the same with who he yeah. but i mean obviously it's it might just take some time a little bit but yeah yeah it might just take time but c died uh they bounced back they bounced back they took this one um so it's definitely good for them yeah absolutely um, it was good and yeah finally yeah, good stuff. <laughs> um Immortals I don't have too much to say dig. about Immortals Dignitas. Um, I will say Immortals has been kind of surprising me in that they don't look as bad as I thought they would look. Yeah, but... I've been hearing good things about them from scrims and stuff too. But so. then, uh, yeah, and then scrims, right? But then uh, they they end up losing the Dignitas, so um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know about that. So uh... you know, it's it's just the energy of last split, uh, summer split, where they were just losing to all the lower teams and winning against the best teams. So yeah maybe uh i would say the most <laughs> exciting the, the only thing i really remember being interesting about this was that they uh they busted out a smolder pick uh oh, dignitas day. that's right yeah yeah for uh, smolder um, in, in a I think. I think yeah in pro play even right because we're we're the first region to get him i so... think so what i heard is that um i can't remember the exact specific um basically it was like we are the first technically but Someone else, like, I can't remember if it was, like, Latin America or if it was, like, CB mm, LOL okay. or, like, or maybe it was, like, a, a like a Challengers level team picked it up, like, just before us. Um, something happened, but that we weren't technically the first in the world, but uh, we were the first, like, official league or something like that, I think is what it was. I can't remember exactly, but they said it on stream. But, yeah, yeah. it was it was a very early smolder. It was, like, one of the, the second, if not the first, yeah. Yeah, so smolder pick, super cool. Um, what else? Hue was in this game. That was kind of cool. Yeah, uh, yeah. For Immortals. Um, yeah, so cool. Uh, some cool picks, but yeah, Dignitas won this one. I actually, I'm trying to remember how the smolder looked in it. I Did think it looked actually? okay. I can't remember. Let's go skip to the end real fast. I don't think it was like one v nining, but I did. I thought it did look okay. Yeah, I think it was actually like zero and one for most of the game, and then like. It got a double kill at, at like one of the last team fights here. Yeah, with the stacks in. probably. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and they started stacking a bunch of kills at the very end there, just because yep, once yep, you get yep. those that threshold, it's, <laughs> yeah. then you're useful. <laughs> yep, exactly. Yeah, so that was that good. game. Um, Dignitas takes the win. 
good for them. Yep, yep. Um, and then moving we've on, we got... got Hunter versus TL. Do you remember this one? Okay, much? this one <laughs> we had. Uh, this was like a. Uh, wasn't isn't this a rematch of Sniper versus Impact? From um, yes, yeah, yeah. They, I think that was his first game. I think that's who he it played was, the yeah, Revenant yeah. show. Yeah, yeah, okay. So this is a rematch going back to that. Um, didn't get the Riven pick. Well, tiebreaker, but... yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm trying to remember. I think in this one, who won this one? <laughs> Here, I got you. This one? I'm like blanking thieves. on this one. Looks like Hunter Thieves. Right, right, right. Because I remember I was actually kind of surprised that they... Quid and Meech popping thought... a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's right. So, uh, I don't know. Hunter Thieves is is honestly... They're, they're looking pretty good. And I think if you like you look at the standings there, it, it kind of shows. But I I definitely didn't think they would be picking up this many wins, being like top two in the league. But yeah. I mean, I don't know. They keep winning, so I can't really, can't really say too much. I thought there'd be yeah, a lot more like, uh, how good they're doing. like, like growing pains, you know, because they have, they have like brand new like Meech and then brand new Sniper. So I thought it would just take more time, basically. Yeah, absolutely. I I thought so as well. I thought TL would look a lot better, and uh, and Hundred Thieves would be more a little bit like middle of the pack to upper upper of the pack. Kind of, <laughs> but uh, yeah. yeah, they've they've been we able to work it out super well. Um, I think River is a big part of that, honestly. So. Sure, yeah, definitely helps to have that guy uh, in the jungle. I think he, <laughs> he's probably one of the one of the best junglers we have. I'm yeah, I would say for sure. And maybe maybe like underrated. I feel like not a lot of people like Sometimes, they always think like inspired yeah. blabber, but I think I think Rivers really good yeah i think he's super good super good all right um and then last but not least we had um shopify rebellion versus fly quest yes, um, to round out saturday let's see let me see what the drafts were oh, sorry oh yeah they had those they had those oh another shirts, smolder so. on fly fly got the, yep. the smolder for masia Yes, so second Smolder. They paired it with Blitzcrank, which I thought was a little bit weird. It's weird um, because he's a scaler, in my opinion. I think Yes. you aren't going to be getting a lot of kills in lane, and Blitz wants kills in lane, so... Yeah, so I thought that was ends, a but... bit bit awkward yeah, um, have to for agree. Smolder. But... Um... Let's see what happened towards the end here. Odin 3, <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think, I don't think he ended super super like with a super good score line to be fair um right. like they got a pretty shopify good i'm pretty sure yeah, shopify yeah. wins this one which was surprising like just on paper but mm -hmm. if you watch the game they were pretty much just like yeah, 17 to 6 time. yeah yeah almost and it definitely wasn't like up. like all the smolder um, no 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 definitely not they just kind of got beat Top to bottom. Um, Insanity steals the Jensen. Oriana from Jensen. Classic. <laughs> yep, yep. You gotta. You gotta. You can't let that guy get. He's gonna get like an eighty percent professional win rate on that. Pick, so can't. That's uh, crazy. Actually, can't let, yeah. can't let him have Oriana. But yeah, they uh, they take off the second loss for uh, for FlyQuest there. Deliver that to them. So there you yep. go. I like their, uh, I think that's like their Lunar New Year. Jersey. Yeah, the jerseys like... are sick, actually. I yeah, love that. Those were nice. Um, so that was Saturday. Uh, big stuff there, like I said. C9 broke their loss streak. And then yeah, for sure. Fly yeah, high. loses there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, it's high. And then uh, C9, yeah, C9 breaks their lose streak. And then uh, Fly Quest picks up another loss. Those were like the two big wins from Saturday. Absolutely. And then uh, we. I feel like there was one game here that we actually banned Lucian for some reason, and it was, it's kind of, I was kind of upset because I think it's really mm -hmm. bad still, <laughs> especially if you can pick Varus into it. But um, yeah, hundred thieves versus C9 here. We got the Varus pick again. It's been it's been used into C9 quite a lot, and it's been working pretty well. I'm pretty sure this game Berserker got a Pinta and almost got a second Pinta as well. By the way. 
I don't know if you remember stuff. this one too much. Yeah, classic Zeri stuff. Um, but unfortunately, 100 Thieves do actually end up taking the game over C9, um, and they actually secure second place uh, above the rest of the pack here as well. So uh, they are solidly in second, and FlyQuest are solidly in first after this one. But yeah, it was a pretty decent game from C9, but they ended up throwing a few team fights and kind of just not coordinating well enough, co coordinating well enough at the very end. It was a very long game as well. Yeah, yeah, this was a long one. You can see already five dragons taken. Yep, yep, six total, honestly. And then yep, there's the yep. Only two two void grubs were taken <laughs> the entire game. <laughs> kind they of funny didn't care about groves yeah they just they just didn't care about them it's crazy but yeah pretty much just like desynced uh death timers here at the end kind of i think spelled a doom Is that, isn't that what happened i think either we got caught or we got a, a team fight that we lost something like that i think we lose most people elder dragon yeah oh that's right this is the, the split right yeah there's just no oh no 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 they don't end there but yeah, they just they just rush it down mid after that. Yeah, the next yeah, it, was a, it was a big team fight here that that C9 lost at the Elder Dragon, and then they were able to just end after the the, the almost backdoor by General Sniper. <laughs> it wasn't a it wasn't the cleanest game by either team, but no. neither team looked like they got completely like rolled. Um, yeah, for so sure. It was like pretty close Definitely game the whole time, close, but yeah. uh, impressive from hundred thieves. Hundred thieves able to clutch it, yeah pretty big yeah all right next up we got dig versus energy i don't think i watched this one do you did you see this one uh i i i got some news for you uh this smolder <laughs> pick they this is smolder does not win this game oh so, no <laughs> dignitas actually two o's uh the week which is dang like, okay like, what is what is he so dignitas two o's the week and nrg goes oh and two um which is like that's crazy to me yeah don't call it um, zach what the it was it was kind of a interesting yeah i'm like i don't know if that's like the re so i haven't played that much with a smolder yet but like we were saying with the blitzcrank i don't i don't know what the read is but i don't like him with like leona either Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's, that's I think he fair. needs like a Janna, a Karma, like a like almost like a Cogma. Like he just needs to sit back and scale. Yeah, I think it's pretty um, fair. But I think maybe like time. something that's like pretty tanky, but can also defend you, like Braum or maybe Nautilus, depending on. I think yeah, that has some like, just yeah. as long as you're not like going in for kills early on. Yeah, probably yeah. right. Yeah, because like, like, yeah, that's that's a good point. I think Nautilus could work, but Leona's like once she goes in, she's like she's leaving you. She's going in, so yeah, definitely. And she um, can only just walk away in terms of running away. She only goes in pretty much. Yep. So she yep, doesn't yep, really yep. have much of an escape like Brom or someone would or Nautilus even. Yep, and I I really like the um I like the Ivern pick here um because you have the two. I mean, you can see how many assists, but you have the two uh. 80 carries, yep. like whichever one you want to put the shields on. So that, that felt like a pretty good Ivern pick. Yeah, um, but yeah, wow. Dig's pretty happy. They're gonna they're gonna be psyched about you know XU taking two wins here. Yeah, <laughs> nice, awesome. Looks good for them, man. That's that's good to see. Unfortunate for energy though, definitely. Yes. Yeah, tough week to lose to drop. I mean, the C9 loss is like whatever. You kind of, I guess, would expect that, but yeah, a little bit. Dignitas, definitely, that one hurts. Yeah, coming at the end of the week, it was like, well, if C9 would lose that game and Energy would win that game, that's that's big for both of those teams uh, in yep. contrasting ways. Um, yep. But yeah, got a, a Zin Zhao jungle here off for Umpty. Um, Umpty Aurelian with Soul. the Zin Zhao. Yep, I didn't see this game. Soul. Did you see this one? Mm -mm. I saw, okay. um, I had to watch the replays on this one, gotcha, um, gotcha. and I watched the last one. But... Oh yeah, I should have um, done the highlight videos if they're still doing this. I wonder if they are. I don't I'm sure know. they are. But um, this one, um, this one, yeah, definitely Aurelian Soul, which I think is like an APA kind of specialty that we just haven't really seen him bring out oh, that a, much. A Yawn ADC, uh, like Senna. actual ADC Senna? What? Yeah, yeah. Let's go. 
It's a very strange build, in my opinion. I don't think Lethality is the way to go, personally, but all right. It's a play, I guess. I mean, Lethality's nice, just I don't think use as your main focus, in my opinion. I think crit's better. Especially when they, yeah. they buffed it back up, too. So. They, yeah, they definitely did. Um, it well, works out. Buffed, works buffed out this game, too. but I, I do think crit's probably a bit stronger. Yeah. We got some fights at Baron. All right, well, what ended up happening here? So we got some fights. The Red Beast is in shambles. Looks like, yeah, TL just pretty much roll him a little bit with the, the scaling picks there. Um, yeah, I mean... Only 26 look... minutes, that's pretty early. They just have... They're so fat. Look at this. Wow. 11 assists on Umpty there. Sheesh. Yeah, he, <laughs> he did some work. So they TL gets the... Uh... The bounce back here in right, Shopify. Nice. Yeah. There we go. All right. And then the last game of the week um, is FlyQuest versus Immortals. Yes. And Fly Immortals. What happened here um, with the draft? Draft was... I don't remember. I don't think anything oh, yeah. crazy, crazy. The tactical Twisted Fate ADC that uh, wasn't set up for success. <laughs> I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, so Fly Fly kind of went back to more of a standard. Like, yeah. all that's pretty standard. You could say you don't see too many Viegos, but that's like a inspired, like, specialty. Yeah. Viego. Um, so FlyQuest definitely was like, okay, we're going to go standard and just try and win this without any kind of weirdness. Um, and then uh, Immortals did not get the memo because they... They want the TF, <laughs> TF ABC, which, which, well, I, mean, I mean, it can work. It definitely can work in certain situations yeah, now yeah. that they've kind of changed him, but I don't, this was not a, yeah, I think like you said, he wasn't set up for success. Yeah, I think there's a lot of things you have to do, and it's one of those picks you have to like play around very specifically and know how to play it. Um, which I don't th think he does know how to play. I think it's just an unfortunate situation. Also, Callista's is a very lane dominant champion. If she, is put in the right position um, yeah. and her and Renata sync really well with the, the auto attack passes so uh, for both champions so yeah, it's just uh, for it's, sure. it's pretty hard for for an ADTF I think in general he's better mid if you're playing him AD but I think it can definitely work in ADC it's just uh, very situational probably I've even uh, I've even seen him taking top into like tank matchups yeah. yeah. and he's done pretty well but definitely. I mean you, you just saw like the CS difference, basically yeah, the whole game. Like, he was up thirty very early on, or down yeah. thirty. And then we just get inspired, going crazy on the ago. <laughs> Reset King. He's famous for like uh, penta kills on this champ, like in in LEC. So yep, yep. Uh, that's like his champion. Oh my gosh! Did you see that? The Maokai and Vi, they like lock on to one champion at the same time. Oh. <laughs> and he flashes oh, over to God. take him into the team. <laughs> That's cool. That's pretty Bobo cool. just taking, just absorbing stuff for, from three yeah. people. He's just one v threeing while his. Oh, their carries, man. both of their carries, one v threeing both. Yeah. Of their carries. Yep, just chilling. I think maybe tactical was the other side of the fight. I don't think so. <laughs> But yeah, all right, that ends up the the last game. So FlyQuest takes that final game, which brings them, I think, to 7-2. and two. Yeah. yeah, so FlyQuest end out the fourth week before the break. It's 7-2 at first place, solidly. Um, 100 Thieves takes second by getting 6-3 and three record. Third is Team Liquid at 5-4. and four. And then fourth place, we got a three-way tie for four wins, five losses between NRG, Cloud9, and Dignitas. That's crazy. And then uh, Shopify Rebellion, still, unfortunately, their score looks really bad, but I do think they are better than their score still. Um, honestly, I would say same for Immortals overall. Um, but I think every team in the league has actually shown good good stuff, um, especially taking to toss from this last week going 2-0. helps them a lot there. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. I, um, I think my uh, the only thing that's like a big surprise, I think if you swapped where C9 is with 100 Thieves. Yes, yeah, I would definitely do that. Then, then, like, that's in my head how I thought, like, the season would go. Um, yeah. Like, FlyQuest C9, 1 and 2, in some order. Yeah. But 
100 Thieves, yeah. Uh, definitely impressed me so far uh, to be at number two this late in the season. Is You can't really say it's like completely a fluke at that point. So yeah, they're, for they're sure. Looking, they're looking good. Definitely agree. It's, uh, it's going to be interesting. Uh, LCS is very fun to watch, so definitely tune in when you can. I think that's about it for us today. Uh, any final words? Final thoughts? Nope. No, no. Uh, just... I gotta. I guess we have what? It's not this weekend, but next weekend, right? I believe it is next weekend. Yeah, as of this recording. <laughs> okay. So, all righty. <laughs> We're gonna be back into it pretty soon, and then we'll get straight into the playoffs. I think uh, LEC already finished their playoffs, right? For their they first did. split. Uh, yeah. Yes. Who Winter won that? By the way. Is it, uh, is it G2? G2? Okay. Yeah. yeah G2. G2 taking that. All right, and then we'll follow them soon after in the next few weeks, probably, and then we'll get to see who uh, who all is going into. MSI. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll catch you later. Peace.